Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gertobo for here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the FV4005 anti-tank self-propelled gun. The FV4005 started out in the early 1950s, the open years of the Cold War. The Western powers were highly concerned with the amount of powerful armor available to the USSR. In answer to this, the British military developed a ferocious new anti-tank gun, the 183mm L4. The race was on to find a suitable mount for the monster's weapon. It was first proposed to be used as part of the FV215 project. This self-propelled gun design was based on the FV200 universal tank concept. This vehicle, however, did not go further than the mock-up stage. Designers tried again, this time with a proposal to mount the gun on the chassis of Britain's trustly new main battle tank, the Centurion. The vehicle would go under the project title of FV4005. The project itself was uh, not much of a uh, success and it was later on cancelled. Um, the stages of the uh, gun being built were really from 1950 and 1956 and only two prototypes of the tank were ever built um, and it never entered mass service. Overall, very interesting tank. Um, you can obviously see several different reasons maybe why this tank was, uh, you know, didn't make it past the prototype stage. Obviously, uh, with its huge silhouette, made it a very easy target. Uh, the weight of the tank and just a whole bunch of stuff 183 millimeter gun too. the reload rate was probably pretty slow on this uh, So just a lot of various, uh, you know different reasons this tank probably could have been um, You know thrown thrown out because it just overall it doesn't seem like a great tank really in a combat type environment um, You know cool concept, you know heavy gun no just destroy anything in its way, but uh, execution definitely uh, not that great um, so yeah, awesome looking vehicle has been requested I do this vehicle for quite some time, so I'm happy to finally go ahead and uh, get around to it. Um, let's go ahead and dive into it, but take a look at the vehicle, see what we'll be building, and obviously we'll go and go into the tutorial from there. Um, so starting off with, obviously we have the huge turret itself, which houses the 183mm uh, L4 anti-tank gun the uh, British developed. So huge uh, turret here, again it has a huge, um, you know, uh, silhouette just with this massive turret on it. Um, but overall really cool detailing on the turrets pretty nice and overall, you know, pretty satisfied with it Down below we have the chassis of the Centurion tank. So nothing real fancy about it um, Pretty straightforward. There's some little details for it here and there and uh, Various little bits and pieces of it overall pretty nice looking Tank and will be a fun little kind of Cold War Early Cold War kind of tank destroyer for any scenarios or just a nice museum tank or something like that as um, you know it is Pretty much a tank that, there, that only two prototypes are made, so kind of a kind of a rare tank. Um, anyways, that's overall. That's it for this overview. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. All right, guys, going ahead and starting with our first layer. We're going ahead and begin with layers zero through one. For these layers, we're going to be going ahead and setting up the basis here of our tracks and basically the basis of our uh, chassis. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and place down a nether brick slab followed by another brick top slab coming off of like this toward the front. We're going to place down a second nether brick slab and top slab next to these two, so you have two that go across like that. Once that's finished, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of uh, what is going to be two across and on the side that we're going to have facing toward the outside so this is the left side here we're going to place it on a stone button item frame and a green terracotta block in that item frame like so we then want to break the blocks in the ground here and place down two narrow brick blocks in their space we're going to go ahead and skip a space place down two green terracotta blocks stone button on the side here item frame and green terracotta block and we're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern uh, until we have a total of six of these uh, road wheels here basically represented by these two green terracotta blocks so we're going to go ahead and do this pattern a total of six times so you can see we have four we have five and one last row we have six so six rows of these two of green terracotta and of course all on the same side here and placed on a stone button item frames on the side here and a green terracotta block in the item frames like so to go ahead and make those road wheels now with that all finished there, we're going to take our narrow brick slabs, place down a row of two across, followed by a row of two narrow brick top slabs, come off the row of two narrow brick slabs. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and go to the narrow brick slab here. We're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood trap doors across like this, followed by a row of three of dark oak, dark oak wood top slabs, come off this row of two green terracotta. We're going to go ahead and go to the front here, and in the front, we're going to go ahead and go to this row of two of green terracotta, and also place down a row of three of dark oak wood top slabs going across. Uh, in between these rows of three of dark oak wood top slabs, we're going to go ahead and take our top slabs and just go ahead and fill in the space 
uh, all the way across here to connect these two sides up. And this right here will be the basis of your whole of your vehicle. So here's what it looks like from up above. With that done, we're going to go ahead and go to the side here, place down two green terracotta blocks to the side, stone button, item frame, and a green terracotta block in the item frame. We're going to go ahead and place down two narrow brick slabs coming off that going forward, and two narrow brick top slabs like that after that. We're going to go ahead and break the slot on the ground, place down two narrow brick bl blocks, two green terracotta blocks, stone button, item frame, and a green terracotta block like that in it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and break these two blocks right here, two narrow brick uh, full blocks like this, and again, uh, same thing. So I'm just going to kind of speed this up here um, as I've already done the same pattern over on the air side. So if you guys want to just go ahead and copy the air side, you can do so if I'm going a little bit too fast for you guys here. But, you know, same thing just over to this side with our road wheels. Pretty straightforward stuff. And just like that, we have our right side set up for our road wheels. We then want to place down two narrow brick slabs and then two narrow brick top slabs to go and finish this off here for the tracks. And once you have that all complete, that is going to wrap up layers uh, zero and one for the build. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, going ahead and move on to our next layer. We have layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and begin with, we're going to place down two dark oakwood stairs on top of these two narrow brick top slabs. We want to go ahead and go around these dark oakwood stairs, placing down dark oakwood signs, basically wrap them around. Uh, the sides here of the stairs. So you have something that looks like that for the front here And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here to the other side. So just like this Wrap it all around like so Once that's finished there, we're gonna go and take our green terracotta We're gonna place down a row of two green terracotta blocks directly behind those dark oak wood stairs and across in the space in between those green terracotta blocks We're gonna place down three dark oak wood stairs We then want to place down a dark oak wood sign come off this green terracotta block again on both sides there once that's finished, we're going to go take our green terracotta, place down a row of five across the middle here, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair to both sides. And come off the side of this dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign. So just like that. When that's all finished there, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of seven all the way across here, and we're going to place down a second row of seven all the way across as well. We're going to go and then place down two dark oak wood trap doors, and we're going to have them uh, opened up or closed, however you want to look at it. Uh, to basically be lined up on the sides here, or flat against the sides of these green terracotta blocks. And then the same thing on both sides there. We're then going to place down a narrow row of seven all the way across here. And we're going to then have a stone button on both ends. We then want to place down a uh, another row of seven, followed by a second row, and then a third row of seven. On the sides here, we're going to go and take our dark oak wood trapdoors, place down a row of three, and we're going to have them uh, basically closed or opened uh, to basically be on the sides of those green terracotta blocks. We then want to place down another row of seven of green terracotta going across. We're going to place down a stone button on both ends like so. After that, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of seven across again. A uh, dark oak wood trap door on both sides just like that. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides of this row of green terracotta across. We then want to place down a row five of green terracotta across in between those dark oak wood stairs. We then want to place down a dark oak wood top slab on both sides, come off those dark oak wood stairs, followed by again a row of five of green terracotta fill in the space across the middle. On the sides of these stairs, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign. So both sides just like that. And then across this space here, we're going to go and place down a row of seven of green terracotta just like this. And we then want to go ahead and just place down a stone button on both ends of this row of seven, a item frame. And then we're going to go and grab ourselves a cobweb and put a cobweb in the item frame like so to make the sprocket wheel here on the back. With that done, we're going to go and then place down a row of two of upside down dark oak wood upside down stairs on top of those narrow brick top slabs. And we're going to go and do the same thing over here. So row two, dark oak wood upside down stairs. So just like this, and this is what they should look like from the side there. With that done, coming off the back of those stairs, we're going to go and place down dark oak wood trap doors. And we're going to have them closed down just like this. With that all finished there, we can go ahead and then focus our attention here to the middle space um, across here. So for the middle space here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab here, followed by a green terracotta block to both sides. Uh, we also want to go and grab ourselves a mossy cobblestone wall and replace this green terracotta block here in the middle with a mossy cobblestone wall like so. Coming off of these two green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides, followed by a dark oak wood fence gate in the middle here, opened up toward that dark oak wood slab like that. Uh, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, dark oak wood trap doors. We're going to go ahead and skip a space, coming off these mossy cobblestone walls, place down a dark oak wood trap door. And we're going to have a row of three across, just like this. So you can see empty space across in between here. 
and you have that filled in just like that. And once you have that all complete there, that will wrap up layer number two for the build. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood stairs, and we're going to go ahead and place die row of one, two, three, four, and five dark oak wood stairs all the way across there. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves uh, a dark oak wood fence gate. We're going to place die a dark oak wood fence gate, coming off this middle dark oak wood stair, and open it up toward it like so. We then want to go ahead and place down an end rod that is going to be coming off both sides of this dark oak wood stair, so just like this to both ends. Or, sorry, the Stark Oakwood fence gate. Once that's done, come out the fence gate toward the front. We're going to place down an end rod going forward, followed by a Dark Oakwood fence gate, come off that end rod, and we're going to go ahead and have the fence gate opened up toward the front, like so. On both sides of this fence gate, we're going to place down a Dark Oakwood sign, so just like that to both sides, and then we just want to place down a zombie head coming off this Dark Oakwood fence gate, like that for the front there. With that all done, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves some dark oak wood trap doors. And we're going to place down dark oak wood trap doors on those two green terracotta blocks like that for the fenders. And then we want to place down a lever on top of this dark oak wood upside down stair and have it flicked so it connects up to this dark oak wood stair on both sides. And if the wooden trap door does open, make sure to go ahead and close it. After that's all complete there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some spruce wood stairs. And along both sides, after the lever, we're going to go ahead and place a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 spruce wood stairs back. And it's going to be the same thing over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 spruce wood stairs back. We then want to take some spruce wood signs, and along these 7 stairs, we're going to place down 7 spruce wood signs. So going all the way across here, just like that, and we have our left side done and we're going to go do the same thing over here to the right side so again spruce wood signs all the way along the side here like so and once that's finished there we're going to go and then take green terracotta and we're going to go and fill in the space in between these spruce wood stairs all the way across here so you should have a total of seven rows of seven green terracotta blocks fill in the space in like so once that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and then grab our dark oak wood stairs. We're going to go ahead and start on both sides here. Place down dark oak wood stairs like this on both sides. A second row, like this again, to both sides like that, going in toward the middle. And then we want to place down two mossy cobblestone walls across the middle space like that. To the sides here, coming off the first dark oak wood upside down stair, we're going to place down a zombie head to both ends, followed by a granite wall going back from that zombie head. Again, on both sides, just like that. Once that's finished, we're going to go and take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of seven which i row five across and we then want to go ahead and place down a green shulker box on both sides just like that after that summer we're going to place down a another row of five of green terracotta across followed by a uh, green shulker box again on both ends like that we then also want to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off those two uh shulker boxes and we're going to go ahead and then place down an item frame on top of that dark oak wood up sound stair now in the item frame, we're going to go ahead and go into our creative menu, grab ourselves a green uh, stained glass paint, and we're going to place down a green stained glass paint on top of that, or in the item frame like that, on top of that stair. With that done, we're going to go ahead and take some green uh, terracotta, and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of five across in between these wither skeleton skulls. Once that's done, we're going to go take our end rods, we're going to place down an end rod, come off these two green terracotta blocks, and then the sides here, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate, like that, going toward those uh, blocks. On the side here at the fence gate, we're going to place down a wooden sign. Again, same thing over here on this side as well. And we then want to go ahead and just grab ourselves some dark oak wood stairs. And we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood stairs across. Like this. So we have one, two, and three. And then we're just going to take green carpet and place down three green carpets across on top of those dark oak wood trap doors. With that all complete, that is going to wrap up layer number three. Actually, one last thing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the side of these spruce wood stairs right here. We're going to place down an item frame. And in the item frame, we're going to place down a snowball for the uh, front headlights. And once that's all complete, that is going to wrap up layer three. And with that, we can go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, go ahead and move it into our next layer. We have layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we'll be going ahead and going to these uh, two dark oak wood stairs. We're going to go ahead and place down our first zombie head on top of this dark oak wood stair at a slight angle like this, followed by the second one at a slight angle, so you have something that looks just like that across there. Once that's done, going back from the zombie head, we're going to place down a red stone up here like that, with the notches flicked back like that. And then we then want to go ahead and place down a stone button right there next to the red star repeater like so. With that done, we're gonna go ahead and take our green terracotta. We're gonna place down a row of three across just like that. And we then wanna go ahead and place down a dark oak wood top slab here to both ends like so. With that done, we're gonna go ahead and then place down a row of five of green terracotta across, followed by a second row of five. And then we wanna go and follow it up by a third row of five right after. 
We're going to go ahead and go to the si sides here, place down two dark oakwood signs along the side here, and same thing over here, just like this along the sides. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a zombie head on these two green terracotta blocks to both sides. We then want to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of three across the middle here, followed by a dark oakwood top slab to both sides like this, and then a zombie head coming off the side of these top slabs. Once that's done, we're going to place down a row of five, dark oak with top slabs across, followed by a second row of five, and then we're going to place down a third row of five directly after that. We're going to go and take a zombie head and place it down on the side of this dark oak with top slab, and we're going to go and do the same thing over here on this side as well. On the back here, we're going to go take some stone buttons, and we're going to place down one and two stone buttons, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, all the way across like that. On this back section here, we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak fence gate on this green terracotta block right here and we're going to go ahead and open the fence gate up toward the rear like so. Then on the sides of this uh, fence gate over here we're going to place down three uh, rails and then we're going to place down one uh, rail over here to this side like that. And with that all complete there that is going to wrap up layer number four. With that let's go ahead and move into our next layer layer number five. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five to go ahead and get started with here on top of these three green terracotta blocks in the front, we're going to place down narrow row three directly on top of them. We then want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides of that row of three. We're going to place down a narrow row of three of green terracotta across the middle here, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of five of green terracotta across, followed by a second row of five, a third row, a fifth row, and a sixth row of five like this going across here. We're going to go ahead and go back to the sides here, and on top of the zombie heads, we're going to be placing down an end rod that goes up like so. So it's just like this on uh, both sides. And we also want to grab a tripwire hook, and in the space in between these two end rods, we're going to place down a tripwire hook on that green terracotta block. For the back section back here, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank in the middle here, followed by two green terracotta blocks to both sides. And to the right side here of the turret, we're going to place down a stone button on this green terracotta block right next to this spruce wood slab. And we also want to place down a tripwire hook on both sides of this of these green terracotta blocks like that for the sides of the turret there. With uh, that all wrapped up, we're going to go ahead and then place down a green terracotta block on top of this dark oak wood fence gate. We want to go ahead and then go to the sides here of this green ter uh, terracotta block. We're going to place down a green banner like so. And we then want to place down a trip bar hook coming off that green terracotta block toward the front there. After that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone pressure plate. And we're going to place down a stone pressure plate on top of that green terracotta block. Just like that for the rear there. With that all finished, that will uh, wrap up layer uh, number five and with that we're going to go ahead and move into layer number six all right guys going ahead and move it into our next layer we're going ahead and move on to layer number six for layer six to go ahead and get started with here we're going to place down a row of three green terracotta blocks going up from this row right here we then want to place down a green terracotta block coming off this middle one followed by a second one and underneath the first one we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door like that directly beneath it uh, to the sides of this first green ter terracotta block we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides and then come off this green terracotta block here in the middle we're going to place down two more Mossy cobblestone walls going forward, two green terracotta blocks, and then we want to place down one, two, three, four mossy cobblestone walls, and then a another brick wall here on the very end, like that, for uh, the tip of your cannon here. With uh, that finished there, we're going to go and then take our zombie heads. We're going to place down a zombie head here at a slight angle on top of this mossy cobblestone wall. So we're going to go ahead and go at about an angle, about the right there is good, and same thing over here, just like that. Once that's finished, we're going to place down a row of three green terracotta across, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall, again on both sides. And we then want to take our green terracotta and place down a row of five across, like this, followed by a second row of five, a third row, a fourth row, and a fifth row, just like that, all going across there. We're going to go ahead and go to our end rods here and place down one more end rod going up on both sides. So just going to our previous end rods and placing down one more on top of it. Just like that. Once that's finished on the back here, we're gonna place down a spruce wood plank that goes up like this, followed by a trip wire hook coming off of it, two green terracotta blocks to both ends, and a stone button going ahead and going on that green terracotta block like that to the side going upwards. And once you have that done right there, that will complete layer number six of the build. With that, we're gonna move into our last final layers, layers seven and eight, put the top of the turret on and all that stuff and wrap up the build. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer seven and eight. All right guys, moving into our last final layers, we have layers seven through eight. For these layers, we're gonna go ahead and just build the top of the turret. And uh, yeah, to get started here, real simple, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood trapdoor on top of this green terracotta block right here. Going back from that, we're gonna go ahead and take our 
dark liquid slabs are in place down in row three across like this, followed by a dark liquid sign. Come off the slabs here to both ends. Once that's finished there, go ahead and go on back from this dark liquid slab in the middle. We're going to place down there, dark liquid slab back like this, followed by a dark liquid stair to both sides of the slab like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down a green, or sorry, a zombie head here at a slight angle, so kind of mimicking what we did for this head here, about the same angle going up like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves our spruce wood slabs, going back from these dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down a spruce wood slab, and then dark oak wood slabs in between into the sides of those slabs. We then want to take our dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down a row of three across the middle here, followed by a corner stair to both sides. Once that's done, going back from this corner stair, we're going to place down two more dark oak wood stairs back, and same thing we hear, one and two dark oak wood stairs back. We then want to take our green terracotta, place down two rows of three across in between those dark oak wood stairs that fill that space in. With that done, we're going to place down a green terracotta block over here to the right side, followed by one, two, and three blocks over to the side, and then a dark oak wood stair over here on the left side. Across the back here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on both sides, a green terracotta block on both sides here, and then a spruce wood plank here in the middle, like we've been doing before, a stone button on that green terracotta block to the right side there, and on top of this spruce wood slab, we're just going to place down a dark oak wood slab like that on top. With that finished, we're also going to place down a dark oak wood slab on top of this green terracotta block right here. And coming off this dark oak wood slab, we're going to place down one, two, and three end rods to the side. On top of this dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a zombie head just like this. And we also want to go ahead and place down a zombie head coming off the dark oak wood stair here to the side. And going over here to this side, we're going to place down a zombie head coming off this green terracotta block. On these two um, stairs right here, we're going to place down two zombie heads and same thing over here two zombie heads. On top here of those of this dark oak wood stair here, we're going to place down a zombie head on both sides and a row three of end rods across in between them. And once you have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up layers seven and eight. And with that, that will complete my design for the FV4005 uh, self-propelled gun. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put to good, put to good use. If you guys do end up using this as I do, I so you guys give me proper credit for it. This big thing from a side of the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 204 and I'll see you guys next time.